today we're going to bore out the RBC manifold to the J35 size. Alright, so I have the J35 gasket here. And all this metal is what we're going to take out. So I'm going to grab my pin and I'm going to mark it around. Alright, there it is. So what I did was mark it, move the gasket down, mark the exposed area, move it all the way around, and just mark the exposed area so that way we have a nice good seal or a ring around it and then we'll go ahead and shave that off all right we're going to be using carbine bits these suckers eat through the aluminum so fast we're going to use this one right here all right there it is next thing we're going to do is just remove these screws i already went ahead and loosened these up uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these. You also want to take off the manifold, of course, obviously. Put it on a vice grip. Grab our bit. And we're going to start shaping. And you can see all the aluminum flying. You can see that right there already. So what you simply want to do is just go all the way around. So we get all of the red out of there. So we'll go ahead and go to the panel. All right, we're almost done. I have everything right here shaved off. Now I'm just trying to round everything off here. And then I'm going to flip this upside down, mount it from this side. So I could get this nice and good. As you can see, I'm working myself in. That way it's a nice smooth transaction, transition. So I'm gonna smooth this out right here, especially this little end right here. Yep, so go ahead and finish this off. Flip this over, finish this other side off. And we'll measure this to see what the inlet is. Forgot to uh, measure it on camera, but I measured it yesterday, last night, uh, when I took off the screws. Uh, and it's 65 millimeters, actually. Surprisingly, this is already 65. So we'll see what we uh, max this one out to. I have my other one maxed out to 70. I think, and I shaved this off. I think it might be giving me some issues so I'm gonna leave that little nipple on there because I don't have a 70 millimeter uh, throttle body and I need to be tuned so I'm gonna just make this one to the J35 spec and just uh, smooth this out as much as possible with some sandpaper that I have inside and we'll see if that makes a difference all right so this is the one I was cutting with I gave this one to kind of give it a nice cleaner finish and I have these as well that I've never used. I have the package right there, brand new. So I'm going to see what this does. So I think this one is 80 grit. Looks pretty good. Coming out better. Finding down the aluminum. And then uh, I believe uh, this is the most aggressive one. And then it goes down to, or it goes up 100 and then 120. So we're doing 80, then 100, and then a 20. Oh, right in there it is and that came out so good came out super super good let's go ahead and take it in now all the aluminum dust that came off of it and there's more still all oh, right and there it is looks super good and here I have the gasket let's go ahead and put it on and see what's up perfect look at that that is perfect super good it's a little bit bigger than the gasket and that's what we want I actually see that we probably need to take a little bit right here but I don't want to get too close to the wall even though we have still quite a bit I think that's good because that's where it goes into the tunnel so I don't want to mess with the turbulence I'm gonna leave the little nipple alone sweet now we just got to clean this up hit it up with uh, some water some uh, with the air compressor clean the sucker up here's the throttle body spacer for the j35 look at that it's like it's meant for it 
and see how I move it and it's still inside the gap that's the reason why I was moving the gasket sweet it's gonna look super good let me see this is the way it goes like this like that and so yeah uh, I'm not gonna do the runners it's really no point I don't want to mess up the turbulence here but if you could smooth all of that surface out that'd be great but I'm gonna just leave this alone have this nice rough surface for the turbulence and that one's done and that is how you bore out the RVC to the J35 spec there's my J35 gasket and uh, throttle body spacer sweet lines up perfectly awesome thank you for watching please like and subscribe all right before I finish off the video uh, I want to just measure how much it is this is pretty much average without getting it stuck it's right about 65 67 67 Check it out. 67. Right here. 68. Cool. Right here. It's kind of like the smallest because of the way the port goes right inside to the first one. The first runner. 60. Six. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. So pretty much at sixty-seven. So we went from sixty-five, which is right there, sixty-five, and we went two, and in one area. 68 so that's all we did to port match RJ35 there it is nice and solid perfect sweet thank you for watching please like and subscribe